Hi guys, thanks for joining me for story time. Today we have another story by Ryan T. Higgins called The Bruce Swap. And if you're a fan of Mother Bruce, you're going to love this one. So here is Bruce's cottage. Let's take a look at what we got. No bird watching, no climbing, no hiking, no loitering, no swimming, no talking, no running, no whistling, no camping, no trespassing, no playing. Because remember, Bruce is a girl. The Bruce Swap. There was a letter in the mailbox at 13 Go Away Lane. It was a very fun letter. Hi, Cousin Bruce. Are you excited for fun? Me too. I am coming over for a fun visit. See you soon, Kevin. The very fun letter was about a very fun visit for Bruce. Bruce didn't like very fun visits, and he also didn't like very fun letters. But he never got to read this one. For the last time, stop eating the mail. Nom, nom, nom. Bruce was a bear who struggled with fun. Go faster! No. Isn't this not fun? No. And now for the triple barefooted dismount. No. Then one day, Bruce said no to fun one too many times. Can we eat sugar and maple syrup soup all day? No. Can we make a Roman sculpture with Greek yogurt? No. Can we fly this hang glider out, made out of your sheets? No. That night, Bruce's family went to bed disappointed. Each of them made a secret wish. There, there we go. Thistle secretly wished Bruce was more cheerful. Rupert secretly wished Bruce was more adventurous. Nibble secretly wished Bruce had more pizzazz. The geese secretly wished for sandwiches. Early the next morning, before the first rays of sun crept across Soggy Hollow, Bruce woke up to go on a fishing trip, alone, by himself. He left a note, of course. Gone fishing. Don't make a mess. Bruce. But nobody read that note either. Nom, nom, nom. Soon, everyone was awake. I wonder what we're up to today. I hope it's something fun. Nobody knew Bruce had gone fishing. Nobody knew Kevin was coming. And also, nobody knew who Kevin was. Did someone say, fun? And there he was, Bruce. But not exactly Bruce. Something was different. Thistle could see by the smile on his face that he was a cheerful bear. Rupert could see by the glint in his eye that he was an adventurous bear. Nibs could see by the bounce in his step that he was a, was a bear with pizzazz. And the geese could see by his basket of sandwiches that he was a bear with sandwiches. Rupert said, yeah, my dream came true. Thistle said, squeak, my wish came true too. Nib said, eep, my wish came true also. The geese ate the sandwiches. Munch, 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 munch. All our wishes came true. We made Bruce fun. I'm Kevin. Psst. Fun Bruce thinks his name is Kevin. Wait, this must be Bruce's doppelganger. Bruce's dingle pooper? No, Bruce's doppelganger. That's his lookalike. Our wishes must have swapped grumpy Bruce for this fun Bruce. Ah, so that's what we have here. It's a classic super duper dingle pooper swap. Even with the confusion, Kevin made friends right away. Because it is fun to make friends with a friend who is fun. Let's eat candy all day. Candy is fun. And Kevin was very fun. Hooray! At first, everyone had fun having fun. Candy fight! And the fun kept on coming. Yes, hello. We'd like one large pizza with unlimited toppings, and for the toppings, we'll have 25 other pizzas. And coming. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Hey, where is Bruce anyway? Have you seen him? That is an existential question. As Bruce's doppelganger, he must be where you are not. Whoa. 
I have no idea what you just said. Let's have more fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's all shout everything. In shouting voices instead of talking. Shouting is fun. And even more fun. Indoor pools are fun. This might be an electrical hazard. Some of the fun was questionable. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, but it's a fun idea. Soon, nobody was having any fun having fun anymore. Except Kevin and Kevin's fun friends. We love fun. Nibs and Rupert and Thistle and the geese wished for the fun to stop. Our wishes have gone very wrong. There are Bruce Dingle poopers everywhere. They all wish for regular Bruce to come back. Wah! And Kevin wished for more fun. Whoa. Wow, this place is a mess. Messes are not fun. Let's go have fun somewhere else. So Kevin left without looking back. Looking back is not fun. As the fun bus drove out of sight, the roar of its engine faded away. Quietly, distantly, and grumbly, familiar putt-putt-putt of a motorbike could be heard. It was Bruce, the real Bruce, and not the one who was actually Kevin coming home. Bruce did not know what happened that day. He saw the sad little mice and the pitiful geese and realized something had to be done. He decided that maybe, just maybe, he should try having fun. Okay, fine. I guess we could have fun. Fun? Ah! What? All I said is we could have fun. Ah! What's the matter with fun? Ah! Do you want to have fun or not? No, 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 no. Bruce's family said no to fun one too many times. So Bruce gave up on fun and took everyone inside. That's when Bruce saw what fun had done to his house. Oh. And Bruce was grumpy again. Everything was back to normal. The mice wanted to hug Bruce all day. Bruce wanted the day to be over. And the geese wanted more sandwiches. But they got 26 pizzas instead. Delivery! All right. Well, I think what this book is showing you is you need to find a balance between fun and responsibility. I hope you guys liked Bruce Swap. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.